<laughs> what? WB has yet to green light this year's best movie. Wait if they get a load of me. Ooh. 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 <laughs> what? Why not? We need to find out right now. We need to find out right now. Because I don't want to become an agent of chaos. Yeah, absolutely correct, Joker. Ah! All right, the Batman's two, the Batman, not the Batman's. The Batman two still hasn't been greenlit yet. Who the hell turned on my air conditioning upstairs? Turned on the air up here. I need all this air blowing, making all this damn sound up here. Bet you was the female of the house. Bet you. Ain't that when that damn air comes on when I'm trying to talk? Now, the Batman still hasn't been greenlit yet by Warner Bros. Says here, the Batman has not yet been greenlit by Warner Bros. As details of big changes to DC Films franchise under the new Warner Bros. Discovery merger continue to shake out. It looks like the Batman sequel isn't a sure thing as when the Batman 2 was first announced publicly during DC's WB panel at CinemaCon 2022. In the latest report from Variety, <laughs> we're now hearing that writer-director Matt Reeves is on track for a sequel with the star Robert Pattinson, but the project remains in development and does not yet have a green light for any future film and any future film is years away. So he's still working on it. So they want to do it. They announced it. But he's still working on it. Back in the spring of this year, Warner Bros. Pictures Group Chairman Toby Emmer told CinemaCon crowd something quite different about the Batman sequel. Matt Reeves took one of our most iconic and beloved superheroes and delivered a fresh vision that clearly resonated with audiences and with your incredible support, shattered box office records around the world, which in one of which is one of the reasons I'm excited to break the news that Matt and Robert Pattinson and the whole team will be taking audiences back to Gotham with the Batman 2, Emmerich stated. Who knows what the exact timeline was for the Batman 2's production. Uh, it's a moot point now, as Tommy Emmerich stepped down from his position soon after Semicon. And we've known, uh, we've known, seen throughout this summer, new Warner Bros. Discovery CEO David Zaslav is coming from a very different playbook on how to build the DC film franchise. There'll be a 10-year play, yeah, and I saw that quote before, 10-year plan. The question is where Batman fits into the DC franchise, it seems. Uh-huh, Zaslav was, has made big sweeping changes that seem focused on the Batman side of things. The Batgirl movie was shelved despite being completed and Michael Keaton's version of the Batman, originally set to be a key supporting figure in The Flash before becoming DC's Nick Fury by appearing in Batgirl, Aquaman 2, and other films. Ben Affleck's Batman has been brought back 
to make an appearance in Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. That is true. So I guess it's all about how they're going to fit it in. So if everything is still on course, the green light's going to come after a great script is written. And then they can start uh, pre-production. So this, this hasn't said anything like scary. This hasn't said anything scary. And then they'll just have to fit it in whatever whatever their 10-year plan is. They could make it an offshoot. Offshoot. Like say they've got a whole 10-year plan where everything connects. This doesn't have to connect because the first movie was made not to connect. Correct? So they can make it just as a sequel to that one. And continue. Or they can make it a sequel to that one and connect it. Especially if they're going to do a whole multiversal thing. This Batman can definitely exist along with Ben's Batman. They bring Ben back. Bring Henry back. I'm a happy camper. Uh, the Batman uh, movie of the year for me. Um, I actually saw people saying that Prey was movie of the year. Yeah, okay. Two different, two different realms right there. I mean, your opinion's your opinion. Two different movies there. Two different caliber of movies, quality, storytelling, and everything. The Batman movie of the year. <laughs> Post comments down below. Let me know what you thought, though. If you enjoyed my reaction, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share, and let me know what you may know of this news. Maybe I missed something. 10 million subscribers. 